Welcome back to Dreamfall Chapters. Let's explore this room and see if we can find any information about the prisoner, Bip. I didn't even know that's why we were here. I knew we were looking for a prisoner, but I couldn't remember which one. And I could only vaguely remember Bip. Is that that, um... Weren't they a little kid? That's all I remember about them. I think they helped us do something. That's some weird shadowing. The necromancer kings lost his head. I wonder why they've all been removed. Skulls. Shadow. Someone's got a morbid taste in interior decorating. These statues can't be new. The necromancer must have had them made when he ruled the island a thousand years ago. There's something odd about that wall. There is. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> What's odd about it? Looks normal to me. Why would they need an anatomical chart? Whose skulls are those? They don't look old enough to belong to the Necromancer King. What's the administrator doing with that? A man would have had to be mightily pleased with his own countenance to surround himself with these abominations. It's a necklace traditionally worn by a sister. It signifies her standing within the six circles of Sadia. It appears to be pointing at something in this office. Azadir. It's been a long time. The administrator must have a fantastic view from this window. When it's not pitch black outside. There's a straight drop to the ground. I couldn't escape through here even if I had no other choice. I long to see her sun-kissed walls again. To drink from the first river. And to smoke fresh carbaroot. The First Mountain, one of our seminal religious texts. The last round of testing surpassed our loftiest expectations, confirming initial theories. The Dalmari Plague has successfully been triggered in a seven-year-old Zidling. The creature survived three days before succumbing to fever and bleeding rashes. It died in blessed agony. The disease has not yet settled in an adult Zid, or plague-resistant Dolmari. Further mutations are required before we can move on to the next phase. What in Shadow's name? Christ, so they're testing out biological weapons to wipe out all the magicals. It doesn't budge. Locked. Due to disease spreading amongst the prison population, we recommend reducing the amount of Dalmari meat used for inmate rations. What is this? We do not want disease spreading inadvertently within the magical population, as this will negatively affect test results. Goddess. The administrator must be a knitter of socks and scarves. This speaks in her favor. I've tinkered with knitting in the past. It's an honorable and gentle trade. Anyone who knits can't be all that bad. <laughs> ah. A stone head, belonging to one of the statues depicting the Necromancer King. Is the Necromancer King Clax? Because that looked awfully a lot like Clax. This probably belongs to one of the statues here. Hmm. 
It seemed pretty small, so perhaps it goes on this one. Yeah. Hmm. Do I point it towards the odd wall over there? Is this abomination? It's terrifying. Looks like a fish monster. <laughs> is that to kill people? Uh huh. It's too dark to. What is that down there? Those bodies. You uh. made it. For a while there, I didn't think you would, but those guards. Standards have fallen. I may need to behead someone, set an example. Goddess, I can't believe you're really here. The Apostle. I am so starstruck right now. I mean, I'm your biggest fan. Um, thanks. What's going on? Is she dissecting a body? Biggest what? What? I followed your career. I know every crusade you've undertaken, every conversion you've carried out, every infidel you've judged and found lacking. I always dreamed we'd meet someday, and here you are, in my lab. <gasps> Goddess, and look at the state of me. I'm such a mess. I do apologize, but you caught me at a disadvantageous moment. I was just about to start cutting. Bip. Is that Bip? Is that what this thing is called? I was aware that it knew you, so I thought it appropriate to work on this one tonight. Let him go. But I'm not finished. Oh my. I'd always dreamed of meeting you, but in my dreams, I never had to pull a gun. And you weren't wearing clothes. I guess it's true what they say about dreams coming true. Do you think me too presumptuous? There's only the two of us. I'm sure you won't tell. I could call for the guards waiting outside the door, but then our little chat would be over, and I feel we still have so much to talk about. Well, I'm in a bit of a pickle. I don't think she was surprised to see me. She must have had advance warning. But how? You knew I was coming. A little bird whispered in my ear. We knew you boarded the cloud ship back in Mercuria. You and that strapping Dolmari slave of yours. A rapid dispatch was sent ahead with word of your imminent arrival. My eyes only. No one else knows you're here. I knew this was fate, playing her cards, granting me the opportunity to meet you face to face, to explain what we're doing here. I was hoping you'd approve. This camp is a research facility, Kian, not a prison, not a death camp. We're doing very important work. In the last five years, we've made so much progress. We're closer than ever before to producing the cure. What cure? The cure. For magic, of course. We're creating a scourge to wash the world clean. When we unleash our holy plague, it will spread like wildfire across all continents. Humans will be perfectly safe, of course, but magicals, they will die. Every single one of them. You're insane. No, no, it's perfectly safe. We're doing science here, not black magic. We're being very thorough. You see, we started with the Dolmari Plague. Do you know about this? Many decades ago, it killed almost half the Dolmari in the world. But then it weakened, and the remaining Dolmari became resistant to the disease. A real shame. It would have saved us a lot of work if it had killed them all. What we're doing, what we have done, is modify this plague. 
It no longer affects only Dalmari. It affects all things magical. People, beasts, insects, plants. Anything infected by magic is cleansed, eradicated. I don't like to brag, but it's fiendishly clever. And why do they expect me to approve? Who would authorize something so demonic and inhuman? I don't understand why anyone would do this. Who would? I don't mm. understand why anyone would do this. I don't think there's any point in asking who or why. But should I really just attack? There's not that much distance between us and the gun is lowered. Perhaps... Uh, I'll keep them talking. Who authorized this? The Office of Scientific Progress, of course. The Prophet approved it. The Six... The Six don't know the details, but they know we're working on a solution to the magical problem. They turn a blind eye, but... I'm doing this work so that they don't have to. We're getting our hands dirty for the goddess, for the empire, for the future of humanity. You can see the light in that, can you not, Kian? You're evil. What you're doing here is evil. This is the Shadow's work, sister. Evil. What Magicals did to us, to our nation, that was evil. Those precious Dolmari of yours murdered my family, burnt our farm to the ground. My brothers and, and sisters. They were children. What had they ever done to deserve that? They died in agony, crying for our parents while those beasts just watched. And what they did to me afterwards. We're doing this so that no one will have to go through what they went through. Now you've made me upset, Kian. You shouldn't have done that. I mean, I'm the one holding the gun. One shot, and they'll come running through that door. Of course, you'll already be dead. You'll be dead. Liko? Nice. Was I too slow? Oh. <laughs> I'm stuck in an infinite time loop. Lika, watch out. Oh. What? This has turned so silly. Okay, so she's standing over the um, <clears throat> over the pit, so I'm sure I need to turn that thing and make her fall. But just one more time. Don't. Oh. 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 Once again, my reflexes prove superior to yours. They would have dodged this bullet. You don't dodge bullets. Try me. I did try, like, five times. You didn't dodge any of them. So what's going on here? Long story. Who's she? I'll tell you later. Help me! Oh, oh goddess, help me! I command you! Sounds like she's very upset. She is. So, what have you been up to, aside from all the stabbing? Uh, freeing prisoners, arming them with the Zadi blades and spears, blowing things up. Sounds fun. It was. Huh. Is that Bip? It is. He's unharmed, thank goddess. I was just about to... 
Stand down, Dolmari. What in Shadow's name is going on? Where's the administrator? Down there. Down. Get me out of here. Light protect me, I'm hurt. My legs are broken, I'm bleeding! Do you want to explain what's happening here, Kian? Please, Mia. Ask your men to stand down. I serve the goddess, same as you. The administrator does not. Wait, so I'm sorry. Their legs are broken? That pit's like five feet deep. I mean, that's kind of an exaggeration, but it's really not very deep at all. Fine. But if you don't tell me everything, and I mean everything... I will. You may want to sit down. This is going to take a while. Resistance has been infiltrated. The final preparations will be completed by tomorrow, mistress. And the ceremony? It will begin when the moon rises on Reap Moon's Eve as planned. The engine is ready. We have accomplished everything we set out to do. And the Prophet will be here. So he has told us through his messengers. We have no reason to doubt his word. This is the beginning of a new era, Sister Sire. Indeed it is, mistress. Such a pity Harmy isn't here with us. Where is the General, Mother? Why does he not grace us with his presence? He's away. Uh, on urgent business. Yes, I'm sure he is. Mistress, did you know about this urgent business of Harmy's? We trust the General to set his own priorities, Sister Sire. Of course. It is a pity, though. Great things are happening, and I'd hate for Harmy to miss out. After all, were the resistance to fall in his absence and the war of the Northlands won, what would remain of his legacy? Lux. Man, that 
was a steep climb. I'm actually surprised you made it this far. To be honest, I was expecting you to lose foothold and tumble to your death, or for a rock slide, or for one of those ghastly flying things to attack us. I'm really glad I have wings. It's a long way down if you slip and fall. Thanks, Crow. That's more than enough. Happy to help. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> this is comfortable. This is nice. Great views from up here. Actually, do you think you'll be able to get off my head soon? I'm getting itchy. You want me off your head? Ah, I thought you specifically wanted me to stay put after that whole incident with the stone cat. Nope. Okay, then. I love having crow on my head. Do birds get motion sickness? They probably don't. Oh, this is gorgeous. Hey, this looks like something. This is amazing. A whole city up in the clouds. Wasn't that what you were looking for? I know, but still, seeing it with my own eyes. You humans are weird. I probably couldn't have made it this far without Crow. And Crow would definitely not have made it this far without me. We made it. This is it. The Purple Mountains, the Ula, so... Yeah? What now? I don't actually know. We explore, try to find Abnaxus and Lux. Ooh, sounds like a well thought out plan. Shut up. <laughs> it looks like the broken remnants of whatever was here before these nests were built. They look ancient and they're crumbling. Probably the remnants of whatever civilization lived here before. I'd be really curious to know who carved those giant heads into the rock. The ruins of an abandoned city. That's so cool. I wish I had time to explore. One of the Ula. I recognize them from my visions. So this is where the Ula live. Oh, it's impressive. This reminds me of, like, mist. Oh, I wonder what, what Zoe was talking about with the Ula. It's there, it's just out of render range. I think they're shy. Or they don't like strangers. At least they're not hostile. Yet. There, if they're at the very edge of the screen, you can see them. It's a giant moth in a cage. Because why not? If you're going to have a giant moth around, a cage is the way to go. But, but it could so easily escape. Pet or pest. Who keeps moths in cages? Evil witches and serial killers, that's who. Oh. Uh... Someone's home, I guess. Anyone in there? Hmm, no answer. No answer. Hello? I'm a friend. I just want to talk. Uh, my mountaineering skills are rusty. If I'm going to risk breaking every single bone in my body, I should at least know where I'm going, and why. Don't be scared. Hey, one of them's outside. Maybe I can get some help finding Abnaxus. Hello? 
Hello. Don't worry. I come in peace. I'm Zoe. I'm a friend. Complimenting someone's home is often a good conversation starter. You have a lovely village. It's impressive. Nice work. <laughs> That's all. It's lovely. Thank you. Abnaxus must be called the same in every language. I'm looking for Abnaxus. Do you know Abnaxus? <laughs> Try to describe him. He might not understand a word I'm saying, but if Abnaxus speaks to them the way he speaks to me, then maybe... The fingers were distinctive. Perhaps he'll recognize the fingers. He's also got weirdly long fingers. He'd probably make a great pianist. How about his cane? The cane transcends language. They must know about that cane. Abnaxus walks around with a stick that he leans on. Like this, like... <laughs> you know him. Where's Abnaxus? <laughs> Up there? That's high. I don't know if I can get all the way... Hey! Where are you going? Come back! Shit! Okay, so... Somewhere up there. Where do they go? Giant moth in a cage. Because why not? So, if are you have happy you abandoned your, uh, uh, you, what is it you do again? Neural programming for artificial intelligence computers. That thing. Are you happy you abandoned that thing for this thing? Trying to save reality from collapsing? Yeah, I think I made the right choice. When this is all over, you should probably get a normal job. That thing you said that I didn't understand doesn't sound like the thing you should be doing. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right, Crow. So I guess I'm supposed to go up there. So instead, let's go this way. They appear to be Ular nests, built on top of the old city ruins. Okay, I guess we are going that way then. Um, uh, I don't think that walkway is built for those of us using feet to get around. Hmm. Oh. oh, there you are. How do I... Hey, let me go. Oh, God. <laughs> well, that works. I'm Nexus. <laughs> you did come. You didn't exactly make it easy. Why not, I don't know, just tell me where to go and what to do? Touching you through dreams will be like a blind man searching for a red pebble in a wild river. And if finding you is difficult, to talk even more so. Only fragments of words will survive the journey across. Some things will also not be known to me, and could not be spoken. We do not know where Lux's heart was. You will need to find it on your own. Only a dreamer could take this and bring... <laughs> Not doing too well. He does not sound well at all. Are you sick? I was fading. I will have stayed behind too long. After my people leave one realm for another, this time is poison. It diminishes me. 
My loop ends soon. Too late for Ibnaxis to journey onwards. But not too late for looks. Not too late for the dream. I will have stayed behind for looks, for you to have found your way to looks. Compared with this momentous thing, my life was of little significance. Sending me cryptic dreams seems like a very inefficient way of doing it. It'd be nice to learn more about the Ula. The Ula hide from me. They trusted no thing. Humans in particular, they will fear. The Ular lived here for many, many lifetimes. Ages ago, they would have a great city. But the Ular and Yeti are splitting, and their cities will crumble. Now they are both to be protectors of dreams in different ways. The Yeti were the grubbers beneath. The Ular lived above the clouds and gave shelter to looks. One serves the dream, the other will serve the undream, but unwittingly. Slaves to a black fire. Grubbers. That sounds familiar. Why would these Yete serve something that wants to unmake the world? This was beyond my understanding. We will have tried to explain more, Dreamer, but looks awaits. The sand ran swiftly through the hourglass. Couldn't you reach someone else and have them return the Soul Stone? Only a Dreamer can face the sisters. Only a Dreamer will make them listen. Only a Dreamer was able to retrieve Lux's heart. The Soul Stone? Only two could touch it. There is no other dreamer now. Only Zoe. Only Lux. Why not send an actual message instead of vague visions? You were worlds away. Any message would be broken. Unreliable. The Ular will help me dream. The bird was needed to have found you in those dreams. How was Crow able to find me? The bird bridges worlds and souls. The bird has a bond with the Dragon of Spring. The bird was connected to the Dreamer and to the Bloodless King. At the end of its life, the bird will be bonded to the girl who walked across worlds. That's really not an answer. That's an anti-answer. That's worse than nothing. I mean... The bird is magic. Which bird? I wasn't listening. There's a magic bird? Where? You were a curious thing, feathered one. So little, and yet so great. So full of magic. <laughs> right. Sure. I mean... Really? Magic? Oh, yes. You would see this. Aw, Crow. He said, the Dragon of Spring. What's the Dragon of Spring? The new thing that comes to pass when the old things die. The soul of she who saved the balance, reborn. She who saved... April? April? Are you talking about April Ryan? What do you mean by reborn? April isn't dead? She will be dead. She was reborn. There are two now. Entwined, but apart. The Dragon of Spring. The girl who walked between worlds. Mortal and immortal. Human and kin. They are legend. So, they're one but two. There are two Aprils now, but she's also dead. I still don't get it. Neither would I. I will only know the words, not their meaning. This is the way of sight. I will see, but never all of it. Scattered words from a book with many, many pages. That's helpful. Where is Lux? Follow me, dreamer.
The Ular would always be protectors of the dream. They are children of the first dream, long before these worlds, long before human and Venar. They will keep the first dreamer safe when Lux's heart was stolen, the soul stone. They are protecting Lux from the undream, protected everything from the undream. How did Lux lose her, his, her heart? The wizard will take the soul stone. He lets the black fire inside him. He wanted to own dreams. He will have desired to reshape everything. He was and will be dangerous. In all presence, past and future. And the undreaming? The wizard will make a bargain. And the black fire enters him and eats him. The wizard is the undreaming. Hey, I remember you from my vision. Hello. I guess he doesn't understand me. The Ular understood enough. Here, Lux slept a dreamless sleep. What do I do now? You will know. I'm glad Crow is here. He may be a magical talking bird, but he's the most normal thing around. I'm so excited by the thought of April coming back. Looks. I remember him. Uh, her? It? I remember Lux from the dream. Hey, that's the Ula from my dream. He must be the elder or the chief or whatever they call him. Guess we just use the soul stone on him? Inside my head, I can... <laughs> hear you. I can hear you inside. You're burning with a white fire. I can't... I can't stand it. It's so painful. <sighs> Thank you. You're the first. You were there at the beginning of everything. Mm. Me? No, I... How was that even... How is that possible? <laughs> yes. I brought your... Your heart. The soul stone. Hmm. What do you mean, that's not what... Nox? You mean the Yaga? I didn't bring the sisters. I didn't know. They were inside the Soul Stone. And now they're here. With us. That's it, isn't it? <laughs> Light, dark. Dream, nightmare. Together. That's why I needed to go there, to face them, to bring them with me. So, what now? How do we save the dream? How do we save reality? I can't be the one to do that. I'm just... a person. Just a person, and you're a god. Or as close as anything can be to god, I guess. I'm not ready for that. You can't put this on me. I didn't want this. I wanted to be... to be normal. I wasn't asking for a divine purpose. I just... 
didn't know what to do with my life. <sighs> what happens if I say yes? Who do I become? And what about... What about me? What becomes of me? <laughs> I understand. <clears throat> Of course, I trust you. How can I not? You made... all of this. Without the dream, there's nothing. And there never was. If the dreamer stops dreaming, there's nothing. Forever. So if you're... <laughs> if we are one, then the dream is mine. I keep it alive. And afterwards, after I'm gone, what then? <sighs> okay. Okay. Well, we can't let the universe end, so let's do this. I'm ready. Zoe? For a moment there it looked like... it looked like you were made of light. You were incredibly beautiful. I'm... okay. Dizzy. I... I'm... I have to go back now. Wake up. For real. Face the world. Face the... There are things that... I need to fix things. I can't be asleep any longer. Okay. Can I come? No, Crow. You can't. So you're leaving me here? You'll be fine. Thanks for... for everything. I don't think I'll be coming back. But you'll be fine. I promise. Well, that's great. Left to my own devices. In the Border Mountains. By an inscrutable woman with special powers. Again. If I wasn't so furious, I'd be really, really depressed. You know, I'm so used to being the sidekick, I don't think I can do anything else. But whose sidekick will I... No. Nope, 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 nope. Not happening, big guy. I'm flying back south to find that Kian fellow. I'll be his sidekick. He seems like the sort of guy who appreciates birds. Do you believe I should have told her all of it? All that I have seen? Perhaps I should have. Perhaps I was wrong not to, but there's only here, only now, nothing more. I am blind. I think I will sit down, rest, sleep, dream of my daughters, long gone, and hope. The future will still be there for them all, when I fade to dust.
The answer is no. You should know better than to ask, Saga. I won't risk you getting lost out there, again. I'll be careful this time, I promise. It doesn't matter. I am not removing the wards. I'm 14, Papa. I can take care of myself. That didn't help your mother. It's always about her, isn't it? I'm not my mother. Whatever happened to her won't happen to me. And you know this how? She said the same thing. She wasn't going to get lost. She was coming right back. I shouldn't worry. I should just... Just stay put and wait for her. I'll remove the wards when you're older. Until then, you are not leaving the house on your own. That is so unfair. I've been stuck here my whole life. How much longer are we going Until to- Until I know that she's not coming back. All right, until I know for sure, because if we leave and she does return- She's gone. Let her go, Papa. Please. I'm going upstairs to rest for a bit. Don't play the radio too loud. I'll be back down for dinner. Ugh, I can't take this anymore. I'll show him his wards can't stop me from walking. I just have to, uh, find the wards first. Not easy when only Papa can see them. Last time we played his saga. They were a little baby. Still not sure how Saga plays into the whole story. But anyway, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. I just want to mention that I don't truly understand everything that just happened back there with Zoe and Abnaxis and Lux and Crow and everyone. But damn, does it fill me with just a feeling of utter sadness. Especially for Crow. I feel so bad for Crow. I hope Crow gets April back soon. Ah. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to look for the wards. <laughs>